What up? It's your boy Herbert can't give you your truth in this full form revolutionary redemption of a shy. Have you ever listened to the good time song? Now, I don't know if I'm the only person that's really actually talking about this or maybe thinking about this. I hope other people is going to bring this up. I hope so. Because there's some psychological warfare going on right here. You remember the good time song? Y'all know the song, right? Good time. Good times. <laughs> you know, but it gets to this part right here. Here's the psychological fuck. You know, like it's psychologically, it's psychologically fucked through the whole song. But this part stood out because this is the part that everybody around me used to sing. Now, all right, it's like keeping your head above water, <laughs> making it away where you can, right? And here go the first one right here temporary layoffs. Temporary layoffs. Next, easy credit ripoffs. Easy credit ripoffs. We're going through this shit now. Temporary layoffs, easy credit ripoffs. What's number three? Scratching and surviving. Scratching and surviving. Help me. And the last one. Hanging in a child line. That means soup kitchen life. Some black motherfuckers used to say, Hanging in a jury. Hanging in a jury. <laughs> like Dave Chappelle said off of that, I know black people skit on the Chappelle show. So it's like, it's, it's psychologically fucked up because you put it all together. Temporary layoffs. Good times, really? Easy credit ripoffs. Good times, really? Scratching and surviving. Good times. Hang a minute, <laughs> Good times. Ain't we lucky we got them? Do, 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 do. Good times. Don't you think that's psychologically damaging to the black people? What <laughs> to any poor people, period? <laughs> I'm just thinking about this. I'm like, man, it's like, why did I just think about this all of a sudden? I was like, what the fuck what did this come in my head for? And and it's the reason why I make this video. Predictive programming. To make you love the struggle. Love your masters. Love what's going on in the world and in your community. Because you don't run shit. You are cattle. No matter what president is in office, no matter what position of power is shifted to the next person, it's like rich get rich, poor get poor, and black people got to keep suffering. Some motherfuckers suffer in, suffer in silence. Some motherfuckers just... <laughs> It's just so psychologically fucked up. We're so broken as a people that the good time song gets a happy, uplifting song. It's not. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I just thought about that. And just like thinking about that, that made me think about this. The movie Life with Martin Lawrence and Eddie Murphy. Great fucking cast of other actors and then I wondered I was like yeah the movie was funny as fuck but it talked about brothers wrongfully accused of some shit that they didn't do and they gotta survive and struggle in prison the psychologically damaging of well we gotta cope with this shit it's, it's like I used to like the movie Nah, I don't. I used to love the Good Time song, but now nah, I don't because I I realize what predictive programming and symbolism is in, um, in the forms of mind control. And the three forms of mind control is, is repetition, trauma, and symbolism. Repetition, keep on hearing the same shit on repeat. Trauma, the motherfucking destruction of our race since slavery. And the symbolism the fucking cross 
believe in fake Jeebus. And it also made me think about. <laughs> oh man, it's a lot of shit that is popping up right now. I, oh, I got to make videos for them. I got to make videos for them. But um, I just wanted to talk about good times. It's uh, like it's just. Don't you think that is psychological damage <laughs> to actually just say good times in bad situations? That's straight brainwashing, man. It's like what Christians. Some of us are, all right, I'm suffering, but at least I'm alive. I'm like, no, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, temporary layoffs. Easy credit ripoff, scratching and surviving, and hanging in the child line. Good times. Ain't we lucky we got them? And another thing is, I remember going through that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been in the soup kitchen line before. I've been homeless before. Damn near all my life. Due to unresponsible parents. You know, so like when I got on my own, I said to myself, nigga, if I got to get the fuck away from everyone in order to actually maintain a stable life, then so fucking be it. I know how to keep a small circle of of actual loyalty and reliability around me. I don't be out here in these streets like that. I work, hustle, and grind. Do it all the time. That's how I survive. Real shit. Damn, I ain't even trying to rhyme like that. But it just came out. But anyway... I just want to say, think about, I just want to tell y'all, do your homework <laughs> and and go back to all the shit that we used to listen to, all the crazy trauma shit. It's like some, you know, songs like Ring Around the Rosie, you know, these crazy fairy tales that actually have darker meanings to them, you know what I'm saying? And like putting in your head that we are programming you motherfuckers to stay down, to actually love your master, to actually love and embrace your struggle instead of trying to overcome it you know just sit in it sit and wallow in it get mad get angry get sad get depressed you're taking all your energy anyway you know that's some lower fourth dimension entity shit you're just on you know just dragging people's motherfucking you know energy 